Hi friends, today we will see a problem on conical helix. So actually this is the type 2 problem in that that helix, conical helix is completing its one and half rotation. So they have given the problem statement draw a conical helix of one and half rotation of surface of cone and base diameter is 80 mm and pitch of 60 mm so these two terms they have given the base diameter and pitch of 60 mm so as for given data i will write that so in then given so a d diameter of that cone they have given the 80 mm and pitch is 60 mm so here in that problem they have not given the axis height so here as for procedure i will start to draw the cone when we will view the cone in top view that cone will look like a circle so here i will draw a circle in top view having radius of 40 mm because they have given the diameter of 80 mm so i have to take that radius of 40 mm in compass and draw a circle here I have drawn a circle having radius of 40 mm then I have to divide this circle into equal parts so that equal parts may be a um, 8 or that may be a 12 so here I will uh, divide this circle into 8 parts so now this circle is divided into 2 parts now that will be divided into 8 parts so four parts now i have to divide into eight parts with the help of protector so for left side that will be a 45 degree right side that will be a 45 degree after that we have to join these points with the center Now this circle is divided into 8 parts. So we have to give naming to this uh, circle uh, that point this uh, curve will be start from this side point P. I will give name to another name is 0. Next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and last 8. Okay. So here this if we will say the problem statement so this um, this circle is turning or this cone is turning by one and half revolution so here in this uh, circle is divided into eight parts for one revolution now next revolution will be start next half revolution will start so we have to divide more four parts so next part will be the nine this will be the 10 this will be the 11 and this will be the 12 okay so now this circle will be divided into 12 parts as for this one and a half revolution so next we have to take projections of this circle we have to take this projection of circle into a front view so that for first i will take projection into a front view i will join this will be the base which will be view into a front view <coughs> now we have to transfer the axis of this circle so if you will see the axis height of this cone the axis height of cone is not given but they have given the pitch so we have to calculate the axis height first so there is a formula to calculate the axis height is h is equal to n into p n is the number of turns and p is the pitch so here number of turns are one and half that is the 1.5 pitch is the given 60 mm so 
multiplication of this will be the 90 mm so here we will get the axis height that axis height is how much 90 mm so that 90 mm axis height we have to mark on that axis and we have to join this apex with this base so now this will be the apex and we have to join with the help of generator this will be the first generator and this will be the second generator of this cone and the name to apex will give o okay after this we have to transfer all this projection of top view into a front view so i will transfer all this projection into a front view first projection next will be the second projection all projection we have transferred now we have to join this base these points with the apex this projection point with apex so i have joined these points with apex so here after that we have to divide this slant height or that is generator into equal parts so we have seen that this cone is taking a, a, a one and a half revolution so this generator we have to divide into 12 parts because if we will see for one revolution we have divided this circle into eight parts and next half revolution we have to divide into four parts so total parts will be the 12 parts so this generator we have to divide into 12 parts due to that reason i will take i will join here with the help of generator i will draw incline line here and i will divide this incline line into a 5 5 mm so we will get 12 parts 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 12 okay so this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so these are the 12 parts so we will join this apex with the end points so here after joining this apex this generator will be get divided into equal parts first this will be second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so likewise we have divided this generated into a 12 parts so i will give naming to that points this will be zero this will be one this will be two this will be three this will be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and last point will be the 12 point so we have to take projection of all these points into a horizontal so this will be the first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven so all points we have projected on that generators <clears throat> so after that next procedure is that we have to see the where this vertical line and horizontal line is getting intersects so our curve will be start from here so this will be the few points first next we have to see the intersection of first number point and first number vertical line and first number horizontal line so this will be the first next we have to see the projection of second number vertical and second number horizontal third number vertical third number horizontal fourth number vertical fourth number horizontal so here till here we will get the half revolution because our point will be start from 0 to 4 this is so this 
this view is easily visualized in front view but after that four that all points will not be visualized because these all points are behind this cone so four to eight that point will be invisible so i will show next point five vertical five horizontal six vertical six horizontal next seven seven vertical seven horizontal eight vertical eight horizontal so next point now till here our one revolution of this cone is completed next half revolution we will see after that nine number vertical nine number horizontal nine number vertical nine number horizontal ten number vertical ten number horizontal eleven number vertical eleven number horizontal twelve number vertical twelve number horizontal so last point will be here so we have to join these all points before that we have to give naming this will be p this will be p1 this will be p2 this will be p3 this will be p4 this will be p5 this will be p6 this will be p7 this will be p8 this will be p9 p10 p11 and this will be the p12 okay so likewise we have to join this we have to start from zero or so i will join this already i have explained that uh, that zero to four curve will be look dark and four to eight that will be the hidden and next eight to twelve that will be again dark so we will join that zero to p that will be dark p1 to p2 p2 to p3 p3 to p4 that will be the dark next p4 to p8 that will be dotted okay after p8 to p12 that will be again dark okay likewise our helix curve will be get completed okay so this will be what our helix of cone now we have completed our helix next step is that we have to we have to see that when we will view this cone in top view with that helix then there will be a one another type of curve will be visualized so that curve will be the spiral curve so uh, we have to see uh, how to draw that next we have to see this will be the r not radius of base so already that base radius is here so r1 will be radius next we have to see we have to take distance from that axis to this generator so that distance will be the r1 next r r2 that distance will be axis to generator next that will be r3 this will be r4 this will be r5 this will be r6 this will be r7 this will be r8 this will be r10 this will be r10 r11 and last will be the r12 so all radiuses we have to mark and we have to take that distance r0 in compass and we have to mark on that circle our curve will be start from here so our uh, spiral will be look like that okay so i have to take that distance r not in compass mark here so here that will be the p p p not will be here or that r not will be here next will be we have to take r1 in compass so we have to take that r1 distance in compass and mark on that one number generator line one next take r2 distance in compass mark on that two number take r3 distance in compass see here that distance i have taken from generator to that generator to that axis r3 
नेक्स्ट आर फोर नेक्स्ट आर फाइव नेक्स्ट आर सिक्स नेक्स्ट आर सेवेन नेक्स्ट आर एट नेक्स्ट आर नाइन देन आर टेन नेक्स्ट दैट आर इलेवन डिस्टेंस इज लिटल बिट डिस्टेंस सो दैट डिस्टेंस वी हैव टू मेजर आर इलेवन दैट विल बी द थ्री एम एम सो दैट थ्री एम एम डिस्टेंस वी हैव टू मार्क ऑन इलेवन नंबर लाइन एंड लास्ट विल बी द आर ट्वेल्व सो दैट विल बी एट सेंटर सो वी हैव टू जॉइन दिस ऑल पॉइंट्स सो आई विल गिव नेमिंग सो दिस विल बी आर नॉट दिस विल बी द R1, this will be R2, this will be R3, this will be R4, this will be R5, R6, R7, R8. Again, this will be R9, this will be R10, this will be R11, and this will be R12. So we have to join with the help of smooth curve. So here I will join. So this will be the zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, and eleven to twelve. So this will be our spiral. Which will be view from top view. So this spiral is known as Archimedean spiral. So we have completed the problem on that uh, conical helix for one and half duration. So if you have any query regarding this, so you can write into comment box. Thank you.